Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Super Sonic JB, and welcome back to Sonic Frontiers for PlayStation 4. So, last time we had explored more of uh, our honest, uh, how the heck you pronounce it, island. And uh, yeah, we uh, got some more hearts and uh, helped Sage out a bit. And uh, yeah, we fought some more enemies and got some Chaos Emeralds. And now we continue on. Well, it's time, guys. In today's episode, we will be beating the game. So, don't know how long this video will be today, but you know what? We're going to go through it and try and beat the game in today's episode. So, we're going to go and get started. Like the video, make sure you hit that like button. Is there, that's not a lot. You can't subscribe to my channel. So, yeah, we're just going to continue on the story here and uh, do the last few Chaos Emeralds and take on the final boss and, uh, yeah, hopefully save the world and everything. So, yeah, let's do this. Alright, but first we're going to start things off by uh, doing this uh, one right here, so uh, yeah. We're just going to do this uh, subspace thing. I don't really need to, though. I don't think I need to, at least, because, um, like, first we got to go talk to Sage. And after that, we might go get the next cast animal, or we might go find Sage again. I'm not 100% sure. We'll probably go find Sage again, but, uh, yeah, I've... Walked around the, like most of the map and everything. Like been updating the map as I went and everything. So uh, yeah, overall it's going really well. Um, I'm enjoying drawing the this island for a lot. And this might actually be the best island in my opinion. Like this island is amazing. It's gigantic too. Like my gosh, this island is definitely the biggest one out of all. Okay, bad start. It's fine. I don't know what's with uh reusing the same assets from past levels like this one right here. Hold on, hold on. There's a way to get on another path. Right? Okay, there is there probably is a way, but I it's probably it takes a different route. Wait, that's the Eggman, no! That's the Eggman. You never hit the Eggman. Alright. Come on out, guys. That time he came out, good god. Yeah, I did not feel like we're here. Alright. It's only two so I can't go forward and back, unfortunately. As soon as I say that, he goes forward and back. <laughs> like he heard me like, okay, I'll go forward and back. Okay, fine, Sonic, go ahead. Come here, buddy. Do what you want, man. I don't care. I don't care. I'm here to beat this game today. And I forgot about those guys. Like, those are the enemies you can't hit from up top. Sonic 2 enemies. Oh my gosh, I missed a bunch of those. Holy crap, I need to retry, man. And I could just, like, right, here's one right here. I'll grab this. But is it better to go this way, or is it better to go the other way? That time I got him better. Dude, honestly, chemical plants sound like... Sure, it's an iconic stage, but... I've never been that big of a fan of this level, to be perfectly honest with y'all. I know that might surprise some people, but I, I... I never really liked this stage that much in my classic Sonic. Or even in Generations, it just... I hated the underwater parts. This is like, usually you got a mask for those guys whenever they're nearby or whatever. So I don't know if it's, I don't know if I'm going the right way or not, but whatever, dude. What the heck was that? Oh, wow. Is there anything down there? Yeah. Nothing down there. Nothing important. I mean, there's rings. But I already have a bunch of rings. So and as soon as I say that, I die. I don't really die, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Those enemies, you gotta be very careful with them. See, right here, I always hated like, these parts of the levels in uh, Chemical Plant. Whenever I played it when I was younger, it was kind of annoying to pro progress through. Alright, I need to like find another red ring. Something, dude, because I, I feel like I'm not, I haven't found anything in a while. find the rest of the red rings. I, I don't even think I really need them to be honest, but whatever, dude. Uh-huh. Go here. Uh, do I want to go there or there? I think I'll go down here. That's the way, I don't really know for sure what's the right way here, but whatever. Dude. I'm just winging it now. I'm just winging it now at this point. As long as we get, like, I always aim for three, but if we get like two out of three, it might not be or two out of four. It might not be so bad, but then again, if something that happens, there's no invincibility on these things. 
Full job. There's no invincibility on those things. I, I was expecting invincibility frames to kick in there, but nothing happened. Okay, that's the last one. Nice. Wait, some I got them all. Let's, I don't know. Watch, they'll probably be like, you need 100 in your room. No, you just need 40. Okay. That's fine. You got three keys. It's fine. All right. And there was another subspace level like right by where I what where I am. So overall, that was a fine little level. Not too stuff or anything, but you know what? Decent. Huh? And yeah, I'm doing that combo game. Where you're saying I'm not doing that combo. So screw you. I'm exiting the training now. But yeah, guys, I'm not sure how long today's video will actually be. Hey, this will be the last um video throughout this series for well, throughout this year until we get to the DLC next year and everything. So, uh, yeah. That would be interesting. Um, yeah. Up here, there is another, uh, subspace level we can probably take on here real fast. I know I probably missed out on some subspace levels before in the past, but you know, I said this before, it's just not 100% let's play of this game or anything. It's just me going around having a good time and exploring the islands and, you know, doing quests and all that. So, uh, yeah. Now, um, for future open world Sonic games like this, I do hope there's, like, towns and everything you can go to. Like, let's just say Sonic was going to, um, Station Square, I guess. Well, I mean, that's just an example. I feel like Station Square, for an open world setting, might not work as well, but I don't know. Well, let's just say there was a town we could go to like that. That's what I want in the future open world Sonic games. If we get another open world Sonic game, hopefully we do, because this game has been absolutely fantastic the entire way through. So, yeah, it's... Overall, definitely a fantastic game, I'd say. Probably one of the best modern Sonic games ever made. Yeah, and that's saying a lot. Like, when was the last time we truly had a modern Sonic game that just redefined the series? I, mean, I, just, I can't even remember the last time we had, like, a Sonic game that made that big of an impact. Like... Mania was not like it was good and everything, but it wasn't even really made by a uh, Sonic team. Did I? Did I? Hold up, did I? Not I need to retrying that. Dude. How am I not getting this, by the way? I I'm just, I'm just saying, screw it. I don't even care anymore. I, I, I can't even pick up that one for some reason. The game just refuses to let me have that. I, I just don't care. We got two out of three. Good, good enough for me. We're already gonna get that last chaos armor by the time we come out, anyways. Or by the time we go talk to Sage and do all that crap she wants me to do. She'll be like, "Why don't you do this and this and this?" I don't know, girl, because I do what I want. I don't know. All right, let's get out of this training. But yep, yeah, those are some more subspaces there. Nice little levels to play. But yeah, I hope the next open world Sonic game, if it does happen, they add like towns and everything that you can go ahead and explore and everything. And I just, that'd be fun, dude. That'd be a lot of fun. Okay, I thought that was an enemy for a sec, but it was not. Okay, I'm gonna get my infinite boost here, by the way. I tried to, at least. Let's go. And we're at max speed too, which makes it even better. So we're gonna come all the way over here and talk to Sage real fast. Sage need to have a chat with her. Uh, uh, Sage, girl, how you doing today? I hope you're doing well. But yeah, this thing's locked. I don't really. I think it's just another thing she wants us to unlock for some reason. I don't know why, but whatever. Emerald inside. Your power is required to access it. First, we gotta open that door. Are you good with hanging around? I thought you were supposed to be looking after Eggman while he helps hunt down the emeralds. I will be at his side when he needs me. For now, we must focus on the task at hand. Use your power to start the system. Hurry, our time is limited. Sounds like one of those robots back there. I don't, I don't think that's her. <laughs> and yeah, she makes some weird sounds floating like that and everything, but I don't think that was her making all that into ruckus. I hope not, at least. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and start this one up and see how all this one goes. This one 
Is this going to be another annoying minigame? Let's, no more pinball, please. Just no more pinball. That's what I want in life. No more pinball. All right. So the path to use the, the homing laser. There's no other option, dude. I, I don't see any other choice here but to use the homing laser. I legit don't see any other option right there but to use the homing laser. What do you want from me, game? I can't dodge all that shit, game. It's too much. And like, I can't... I, I can't do anything about this. I had to have that homing laser or I can't do it. You can't go up and down, which I don't like. It needs to change. Let me go up and down. Oh, I had the homing laser. Is it enough? I don't know. I can't get that many hits, dude. I cannot keep up with this. It's too much. I cannot keep up with this shit. I cannot keep up with this. It's too much. How? How? Give me another one of these dirt on there. Make sure Eggman never gives you a prestige again or whatever. Give me invincibility frames, please! Invincibility frames, please! Give me some! Can I? Okay, yeah, I can't just stay on you. Thank God. So it looks like if I hold it like this, I can just kind of go through the light. It's very helpful, actually. There we go, got it. Pom, pom, pom. <laughs> all right, sorry. <laughs> but that one was just a little tricky. Like, the parts were there all over me, but just a little much. I get it now that I can just use the light or dark ones to kind of basically not get hit by the other ones. But, dude, it's... Uh, why am I doing this, Sage? And how is this the thing that's letting me hack into here? Like, who designed this crap? What's, what's next? I gotta play Pac-Man? Uh, uh, unlock the Chaos Emerald? <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright. Sweet. Emerald number six, here we come. So, earlier you said I had zero chances of winning. You change your mind yet? No, but I have not run a simulation on our present circumstances either. Ah, yeah. So you're saying there maybe is a chance. I am saying we are in a desperate situation. The threat we face is beyond imagination. Hey, if there's even a 1% chance I can turn that despair of yours into hope, I won't disappoint. Shall I give you despair? <laughs> Is that what you want to do? Give me spare? Is that what you want to do? Is that your game plan? Alright, let's go ahead and save there real fast because it's always best to save in these situations, so yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. There's, there's, there's a dude there, but I mean, I guess we're going to go back and get him anyways. But first, let me do this. Get him. Get him. Get all these guys first before I grab that Chaos Arm. Because you know, you've always... Grab stuff in the area first before you get the chaos. I don't know what it's gonna do, but I'm hitting it anyways, just in case. Any more on here? I can't tell if I'm coming here or not. We'll have to tell this thing. Let's just grab it. Okay. 
castle and you're mine now. You're mine! One more. I gotta hurry up. Sonic! Yes. Ah, uh, Eggman. <laughs> I know! What are you doing, Eggman? You're not fast enough, so I found it for you. Oh, he found it? Go ahead and beat that giant! Don't you dare lose it! Now why would I want to disappoint you? Oh, we're just going straight to it. I thought we were... Okay then. I guess here we go. He's smart. You laugh? Did you just laugh? That's impossible. You did not just laugh. You did not. Oh. Here we go. Alright, you. <laughs> I am at max ring count, I believe, right? I sure hope so. Oh, gosh! Supreme. Oh, Supreme. I'll take a. Uh... Uh, Nacho Bell Grunt and the Supreme. I don't know, dude. I don't even know what. Okay, so wait. What is it? So I gotta destroy his, like. Yeah, uh, his thingies first. Here we go, dude. What? What's happening? I, I feel like I'm not doing anything right now. I feel like I'm getting these kind of like a combination of ones from earlier. Do I? Am I supposed to like counter that? I'm trying to, but it's not letting me. I, I think I messed it up. Sorry, I, I can't tell what exactly what I'm supposed to do. I, I tried to counter it. I can't interact. I can't move you in for fast enough, dude. Go. Okay. He's off nice and easy now. Nice try, dude. I saw that coming. I was prepared. Oh, let's go. The multiple supersonics are here to help me, dude. Uh oh. But he's mad now. Go mad at me. He's a combination of like all of them from the past. Oh, where is he? Oh my gosh. He's become uh, uh, some weird angel thingy. <laughs> oh, it's just music. This ain't, this ain't like undefeatable. Carry his laser there. There we go. Let's let him have it here. Go. There we go. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god, it's a lot happening right now, dude. I can't really go up or down, so... I'm here, dude, I'm here. I, I can't only attack about those, dude, come on! Oh god, oh, he's bringing the sword out. Is that a gun? That ain't it, though. That ain't it. All across these new frontiers. Heck yeah. The ones I love walk forward through the cold times. Oh, my God. 
got if you like change the difficulty at the end you see the true ending or whatever you like change it to the max difficulty oh boy you give up man You ever just saying to yourself, Eggman only found one emerald and I found six. What a cheapskate. Okay, now. Is that it? All we did was chase it out of its shell. It's retreating into space to regain its true form. Even Supersonic won't be able to stop it. I know what I must do. I must leave you. I understand. Go. Fulfill your function. Eggman does have a heart. You know he's like refusing to admit it right now. You could do that all along? Girl. Hurry, before it regains its full strength. Ladies first. Rom from ReZero. Like, what? You didn't tell us this earlier? Okay, no, I was just kidding. Same voice actor, so yeah. Be careful. Let's do this. Dear daughter. Yeah, let me call your daughter. Oh, that's cute, Eggman. Daddy Eggman, there he goes again. Trophy and hope across ages. I see Eggman say down in your own, like, like, uh, what is it? Like, American sitcom or whatever. It's like he's a father, he's a daughter, he's like the comic relief Orban Cubot. It's Mel Sonic and everything. I don't know. Here we go. The end. What the heck is that thing? That's a is that a freaking planet? He took your lives. Are you going to let him do it all over again? I need your help. We can end this. Please. What is this? I think it's another shooter section like that. I guess not. I guess it's just a camera angle or whatever. Reminds me of, uh... Uh, what is it? Sonic Unleashed's final boss. It's like, you know, this chip controlling that thingy, that big rock thing. Like Gaia, I think? Yeah, like Gaia. Oh. What? What is this? That's a weird one, huh? Oh. They give you like three chances. What's with the quick time events game? I don't like the quick time events. Okay. <laughs> Please look after father. Considering he's my arch enemy, I don't know how well that's so go that'll go for me. Yeah, I I don't know how well that will go for me, girl. Hey, you guys are back. I guess I really was the final boss. <laughs> I did not change the difficulty though. Some people did say you should have. Oof, I completely forgot. So like after I beat the boss, of course. <gasps> Woohoo! Yes! Alright!
Back then. There you go, guys. That is Sonic Frontiers. I guess Sage is really gone. Just like how Chip was gone after uh, Sonic Unleashed and everything. So, yeah. Normally, hold on. Music is sad. My gosh, tugging the heartstrings. My gosh, man, I had to start bawling. I was gonna say, usually I get I get off my opinions on the other these last plays and everything, so. There's all the people who sang the songs and everything, so yeah. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? My nation, Nathan Sharp, nice. Alright, so that's the that's Sonic Forces overall. So yeah, let's try and start talk real now. That song just got to me, man. But yeah, I don't know at the end he's less wise to give my opinions on the game or anything. So uh yeah, Sonic Frontiers overall, fantastic game. was like <laughs> and say to it did it show her i don't know i'll probably just go on youtube and watch and see what it's like or whatever Dude, amazing just so touching but uh yeah so overall like sonic forces are not forces forces no we don't speak of that game sonic frontier is absolutely fantastic game so uh story-wise i think this is a has an absolutely fantastic story like between like the ancient scenarios, like the ancient people or creatures, whatever they're called, like between them and like learning about the history and everything about what happened in this islands and everything, it was a really awesome story. Like it had fantastic storytelling. Oh, oh okay, knuckles. So that was fun. <sighs> uh. 
But I guess it's time we got moving. I know you all have big plans. You're gonna hardly recognize me when we see each other again. I wonder if Cream and Sticks are free. <laughs> Make Sticks. a road trip out of it. It'll Sticks be good to get back to my island. At least for a while. We're wasting daylight. Let's go. Alright, so now the sad music is done, we can legit talk about it more, but, uh, yeah, like, the story-wise, I liked how it brought in the character of Sage, and you're not, like, like, sure who she is exactly, like, who are you, and, like, she didn't seem evil, necessarily. She seemed, like, kind of antagonistic, but not, like, super evil or anything, she felt like she was just a protector of the islands and everything, you're kind of like, who is this chick? And then later on, as you like see her interact with Eggman in a subspace and everything, you're like, wait, they seem to have a good relationship, and she just like one of his minions and everything. And it turns out she's his creation, like, and she used him as the, the father and everything, which I think is a really awesome touch to it. Like, throughout all of Eggman's minions and everything, they're just kind of like henchmen or anything, like, or Bot Cuba and uh, all those ones from the cartoons and everything. They were just like henchmen, they didn't feel. That's special, except for Mel Sonic, of course. Mel Sonic definitely felt special. Let's listen to that music too. It's it's Sonic game. You gotta listen to the music in the credits and everything. But uh, yeah, um, I just like how it took a different take on it, like making it be about her being like a daughter to Eggman. I thought it was really cool, and um, like the storytelling with her, like growing, like you know, kind of a jerk to, like, a good character who's, like, just trying to look after Eggman and try and protect him and everything, and, uh, try and help the world and all that in the end. That just felt good to see, you know? The character development was really great. And her voice acting was really great, too. She's voiced by the chick who voices uh, Ron from Rezero, so, yeah. And, um, yeah, like, the story, I, I do kind of wish it had more cutscenes here and there, but I just thought the story overall was still really enjoyable for the most part. Like, it had, um, a great storyline compared to like past Sonic games and you actually got to see Sonic actually kind of suffer like in Forces they said oh Sonic's been locked up being tortured for years and then you or months or whatever and then you see him in that game and he's perfectly fine but in this game like he doesn't get locked up or anything he just he's going through a lot of pain because he's like get like becoming glitched or anything whatever it's called like corrupted by the cyberspace and if you can see him almost die really I mean it just it, it, it was a good story, you know, it, it told a great story overall. And, um, yeah, uh, but the main focus on this game, more so than the story, was the gameplay. Because, uh, yeah, this gameplay in this game was some of the best gameplay I've seen in the Sonic game and everything. So, uh, yeah, the fact that it's like an open world Sonic game, which I know I I've been asking for years, as well as a whole bunch of other people are supportive. I've been wanting an open world Sonic game for years, and they finally gave us one. And yeah, I think it was awesome, dude. Like, it wasn't as big as Breath of the Wild or anything, but like, all the stuff you could do on all the islands was insane. You could do so much on every single island, do all this crap, and you like, you could complete all these missions and everything and obstacles in your own like unique way. You could like upgrade your skills and everything, level up. It felt good. Uh oh, I can't. The Teaser for the DLC. Come on, hey man, bring her back. Father? That's my girl. Huh? So. She's back, but her body's not back? Is that what happened? I kind of wish there was more of that ending cutscene, but... Whatever, man. I'm sure there's going to be more in a DLC. Where yeah, it comes out. <laughs> Excuse me. If he brings her back like that, it's probably going to be like how he does the Metal Sonic. The Metal Sonic gets destroyed, he rebuilds him back, and then basically... <laughs> um, he just... You know, Eggman goes back to his old ways, like, Alright, time to conquer the world and there, again and everything. 
that's normally how it happens. So maybe that's going to happen with Sage or something. Maybe she won't remember. I don't know. Maybe the DLC will explain more, but we don't really know much about the DLC in the future. I, I think the last pack has more story and everything, but there might be the chance that um, it tells uh, either like it continues that story or it tells like about Amy, Tails, and Knuckles like what happened to them before Sonic actually saved them and everything, which I feel like that's what's going to be the DLC in the future. But yeah, I still need to get my opinions on the game and everything. So uh, yeah, um, the gameplay was a lot of fun. Like, I love the leveling up system and everything. And, like, just the fact that you could go around all these this, these giant islands and just explore your surroundings and just, you know, view stuff was just really awesome. And I just loved, like, the feeling of freedom this game actually will give you. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, the boost function works pretty well for the most part. Like, you can upgrade your speed and ring capacity to help you out in the future. And the fact that there's actually, you can do the infinite boost trick or just make an infinity sign to get infinite boost that's awesome and um yeah of course you, you have to talk about the combat this combat in this game is absolutely fantastic probably the best combat we've ever seen any sonic game ever without a doubt because uh normally in sonic games like you just press the button to do a homing attack they're dead or in classic sonic's case you might just jump on top of them or spin dashing them or whatever but uh this game like you actually had to you know think about what you do you can't just homing attack every single enemy some you can like some of the weaker ones but they're like other ones you can't. You have to like use your use your like kicking projectile or whatever, or, you know, counter or anything. That counter move is very nice to have actually, and it works to perfection most of the time at least. But uh, yeah, like the combat itself, like I love the leveling up Sonic's combat. I kind of wish there was more combat to it or something because you know I, I got at a point where I just had so much, and I have already like maxed out Sonic's combat and skill tree on like the second island or something. So uh. I do wish there was a little bit more moves, but you know it's fine. I don't. It's probably best to not have too much moves, but I kind of wish like all those other like combat points or whatever the heck you want to call it could be used for something else. I guess what I think, but uh, yeah, um, combat was absolutely great. Like the bosses themselves, like like the main big bosses that you fight, like the, the titans and everything, were absolutely fantastic, dude. Like that first boss, um. G Gigantamos or whatever it's called. I don't know. I I cannot remember his name. Gigantamos. I don't know. Something like that. But uh, his theme and his music it was so good. Probably the best song in this entire game. Undefeatable. I mean, it's already a meme on song and everything. It's the next meme on song. Like next to like uh you know um in the end it has to be this way and all that crap. But uh yeah um the combat the bosses were a lot of fun. All of them were um. The, like, the overall bosses, like, you know, the mini-bosses and everything, the titans that were not quite bosses, those are a lot of fun, too. Like, each island had, like, their own themed bosses and everything. Like, the first one had that giant tall guy and everything that you'd run up his arms and everything and him at the top. And then, um, the second one had that guy you'd, like, grind on the rails and everything and, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Every island had their own, like, themed round, like, mini-titan and everything. And it was a lot of fun to fight these guys. And, like, um... Like, it was just a blast to actually fight them and, like, figure out their mechanics and everything. And then there's, um, what is it? Uh, the music. The music in this game is absolutely fantastic from start to finish. Like, a lot of the music you'll actually see while running around the map is kind of, like, uh, you know, like, peaceful in a way. Like, it's kind of like you're observing the environment around you. So it's kind of like Breath of the Wild's music in a lot of ways when you're running around the world. Like, it's nothing too huge or anything, but it's, like... It fits. It fits like you're you you're running around this world, exploring this massive world, and just finding secrets along the way. And I think it fits perfectly. And then you get to the boss battles, and the music's absolutely thriller, man. Like you really feel like you're you're super psyched taking on this giant monster and anything. And you got the subspace levels, which are also pretty fun. Like they weren't the best out of the game. Like they were still fun. I still enjoyed them. But uh, yeah, I, there were some nitpicks I had with those, like the fact that you couldn't turn the camera. Which was kind of annoying. I think, and I don't think you could turn the camera at all on any of those levels. There might, there might have been one or two, but I just didn't like that. I couldn't turn the camera around because I missed something, or if I like went on a path for too long, I couldn't go back or whatever. Which is kind of annoying, but whatever. Like subspace were they're supposed to be little tiny levels. They're not the main focus. They're just there to give you keys and everything. So uh, yeah, those are fun to play through and everything. And uh, Sonic overall, he he controlled pretty well for the most part. I feel like he might have been able to control a tiny bit better with, like, his movement and everything. Like, with the 
boosts in the air and everything. Feel like it could have been a little bit better. <laughs> Excuse me. But still, I thought it was enjoyable for the most part. Like, the controls are fine. So, uh, yeah. Um, what else I want to say? Um, I'm trying to think of what else I do want to say. Like, it's just, it was a fantastic game, really, overall. Like, I had a lot of fun with it. And, like, the level design on the islands was a lot of fun, too. I know some people were saying, like, the islands weren't too special. Because they didn't look fully like a Sonic stage or whatever. Or environment like Green Hill or whatever. But um, I felt like that was more so when you went to subspace, you saw those kinds of places. But uh, I still thought the islands were really fun and everything. And, like, overall, I just loved exploring it everywhere. And it was a lot of fun. Now, yeah, I didn't 100% the game or anything. And I still do wonder what the heck that true final boss, true, not true final boss, true ending was like. Because you had to be on the hardest difficulty in order to see it. But, I don't know, I'll just look it up on YouTube and see what it's like. But, uh, yeah, overall, Sonic Frontiers, I'd say it's a fantastic game overall. Like. Definitely one of the best Sonic games out there, really. Like, is it my new favorite? Eh, I wouldn't go that far. I still think Adventure 2 is, like, my favorite. But I'd probably say this is probably top five for me. Like, I, I, I'm not sure where exactly it would place. Like, I might need to replay through the game and, like, see what else the game has in store in order to find out if it really is, like, you know, top five or for sure. But, uh, I, as of right now, I'd say it's top five. But, uh... Yeah, overall, I just had a lot of fun playing the game, and I'd give it, like, a, I don't know, a 9.4 9 out of 10. I think I'd give it that. Like, the main issues I had with the games, like, were honestly some of the sub-games you had to do. Like, the little mini-games and everything to, like, get open a gate or whatever. Like, that freaking pinball mini-game dude was just annoying. Like, getting a 5 million score. Like, no, man. Don't make that a requirement. Don't make all these, like, little mini-games requirements. Like, I get getting chaos almost or anything like that. But some of them just felt a little annoying to do. Like, the ones on the first island weren't that bad. The second one wasn't that bad. The third island was where, like, really got annoying. But, like, I don't know. I didn't like those mini-games that much. That was, like, my, my probably my biggest complaint, uh, arguably. Like, uh, I don't know. I, I just did not like those little mini-games or whatever. It just could have been be handled a little better. And, you know, the third island, it, it was still enjoyable, but I didn't like trying to travel across the island. Like, they needed, like, to add some warp points instead of just, like, you know, going fishing and getting, like, the maps in order to warp to the the two elder guys and everything. Like, I just wish you could, like, warp to anything you, you um, any one of those, like, little puzzles you'd solve to unlock portions of the map. Kind of like what Breath of the Wild does with the towers. But, you couldn't really warp them. You just took like a grind rail. Uh, it's fine to have a grind rail too, but I think warping would be an also a nice option to have right there. So uh, yeah, just some little nitpicks here and there. I just had nothing too big. I'd still get a 9.4, 9.5, something like that. A 10. Because yeah, it's just been a fantastic game overall. I had a lot of fun with it. And yeah, I will be playing some of the DLC like when it comes out next year. I know there's already a little bit of DLC out right now for this game. Like you can... Um, was it use a monster hunter outfit and everything? I won't be showing that off in the video, like right now. Maybe, like, in the future when an actual DLC pack comes out, I might. But we'll see. I don't know. Because I wanted to end this series like, at the end of 2022, which I did accomplish. So, uh, yeah, it's been two back to back videos of this. So, hope you enjoyed them. And yeah, overall, fantastic game. I loved it. So, uh, yeah, that's going to go and do it for this series, guys. So, Thank you all so much for watching. Hey, if you like, hit the like button and comment, subscribe to my channel. Like I said, we'll be playing some of the DLC in this game next year when it comes out and having a good time with it. So, uh, yeah, hope you all have a happy new year and I love the game. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of this game. All right. Thanks for watching. And until next time. Bye, guys. Rocket fire, rocket fire.